James Ryan. You and I know him as Jim. Jim started barbering in Alum Creek in 1959 when he was only 19 years old. Since that time, he has become a staple in the community of Alum Creek, West Virginia. Jim is a husband, father, grandfather, and most of all, a friend. Jim's fourth, and what he says is his final book, is The Alcott Correspondent. Uh, the first three generally were, but it's life experiences of, of people in, in the area that I cover in my, in my barbershop area. Now, the fourth one here is more uh, localized because it's, it covers the community of Alcott, a coal mining town eight miles from here, that ceased to exist officially in 1957 when they pulled the post office out. But the, the main coal company, the Black Band Coal Company, ended in 1954. In, in 1954, when the company quit and everyone went somewhere else to find employment, and then the, uh, all the support businesses, and the, the, they, they had their own railroad, the Canola Central, the Canola Central Railroad, and uh, the company store, theater, uh, had boarding houses, company doctors, powerhouse, that provided electricity for the for the coal company, and they hooked it up to the company houses. And so when the when the mine was in operation, they had less power to houses. But when they shut down for the day, they had bright lights. One of the employees was sort of a uh, ingenious type of person, and he rigged up a bathhouse for them at, where the uh, powerhouse uh, provided the electricity, and, and they had to have the water. And so he fixed it so the men, when they got off from work, could take showers. And when the company shut down, they converted that power or bathhouse into a church and called it uh, the Bathhouse Church. My goal is to, like the information that, that was in the other three books, is to preserve the history of, that, of the community. Uh, you know, there are numerous communities throughout the state of West Virginia where coal was king at one time and it moved out, it left, and of course we're seeing that happen even today, you know, and uh, uh, when, it, when that left, the community died. I wrote a story in my, uh, in my book, uh, No Coal, No Alcott. Uh, there was no Alcott before they found coal. And then after the coal was worked out, the community ceased to exist, so no coal, no Walcott. <laughs>